Community today is a big part of our society. Now more than ever can individuals find ways to talk with people that have similar interests. Sometimes these events can join many communities together, one of these being comic book conventions. Even though starting in 1964 in New York, comic book conventions peaked in the 80s due to the release of Superman 1978. This raised popularity for the future superhero films, but what is a comic book convention you may ask? A comic book convention is an event usually held in a large area where you can buy merchandise, fan art and of course comics. Even though comic book fans are what started comic book conventions, the event attracts other communities and has even made a couple. But once COVID-19 spread into a pandemic, all comic book conventions were forced to stop for two years due to the large crowds. Once restrictions lifted enough for a safe event, Comic-Con started coming back with only a small decline of attendees, but the convention community still thrives. So how are you doing the con so far? I'm enjoying it quite a lot, especially after the last two years because yeah. of obviously lockdown. Yeah. It's generally like I've missed so many people. I was here like um, yesterday and I basically I decided to volunteer today because uh, I am part of uh, the Capital Sci-Fi Cosplayers. I think it's actually something they're just called Cosplayers. Yeah. Uh, but it's no OS, it's actual causes and yeah. So that's the one in Edinburgh, right? Yes. Yes, yes it is. And um, we do a lot of events and we decided to well, we'll volunteer today because we are dressed up yesterday. So. Yeah, that's fair. So um, how would you say the one in Edinburgh compares to here? It's... I would say the one in Edinburgh is just slightly bigger, but they have been running a lot more years than what this one has, because this, this is actually the first convention here, it's at the back yeah. it's actually done here, except for Icon, which was done at the Glasgow uh, Hall. Royal Concert Hall. A large group of people that you can find at these conventions are cosplayers. A cosplayer is someone that dresses up as their favourite character from a piece of media, whether it be a game, a movie, a TV show, a comic. Some cosplayers also cosplay as their original character. Cosplay was popularised by comic book conventions, but it became its own community through its social media. Alright, so um, tell us about your cosplay then. Uh, uh, so, this so... is Topo or uh, Genocide's... What do you say? Genocide Jack? Genocide Jack. Or Jill, depends. Or Jill, yeah. That's too many names for her. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, so, um, yeah, so what made you choose Genocide Jill then? Because I like Danganronpa. <laughs> You know what? That is fair. I know. So, um, tell me your costume. Like, did you buy this? Did you make this? Or? I bought it, but I do want to remake it. Like, actually, oh. I want to learn how to sew so I can do it myself. Um, so, how did you find out about Columbia conventions then? Um, the internet, um, cosplay accounts. But are like Scottish cosplayers. Oh, so you found out about comic book conventions from cosplayers. Yes. Oh, so you got you were you cosplaying before that or? I'm not sure really. So. Do you think that comic book conventions has a correlation towards uh, cosplay? Yes. Okay. Uh, you meet loads of people here that just have the same kind of interests and the same kind of like... Same kind of like feeling like, um, like you click more. Yeah, you yeah. click more with people with different type of styles yeah. but also different fandoms and games and all that. Yeah, so it's like, um, so would you say you're in the cosplay community then? Yes. Yes. Do you talk to cosplayers outside of comic book conventions? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so what do you discuss there then? Just uh, just go about um, cosplaying or do you just cosplay at these conventions? Um, I sometimes cosplay uh, at conventions but I also do it occasionally at home. Oh, okay. I need to learn sewing and fabric and all that jazz to um, do um, to start making my own. <laughs> that is fair, that is very fair. Uh, so when you make your own, do you think it's going to be a lot better than you? We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out. Alright, thank you for talking with thank me today. You. Uh, have fun at the convention. Thank you very much. Cosplay is so popular at these conventions that we can even show the best cosplays in a masquerade. Artists play a major role in the Comic Con community. After all, without them we wouldn't have these comics. It's truly amazing walking through Artist Alley and seeing all the creativity come through in a variety of styles, from digital art to photography. So oh, tell us what you do here then. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. So I am doing a lot of photography. I work a lot with uh, cosplayers and some local models, but mostly my interest is in cosplay. Um, and then on the other side, recently I started my own brand, so a clothing brand based on three characters that I own. Um, so this is the first of the line. And hopefully, 
we go further after this. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so it's just something I've done for many, many years um, and it's really nice to just kind of keep at it, you know, it's like part of the passion. I, I can't imagine leaving doing conventions ever, to be honest. <laughs> so convention for life then? <laughs> oh, definitely. For life. I mean, I've been going to conventions maybe since I was like 13 or something like that. Uh, yeah, before it even came to the UK. So it's been really nice to see it grow here um, and be really, really popular. And I love just like seeing it evolve and change and basically catch up with the world in a sense because the, the UK is a little behind but it's definitely nice to see it here um, as I said before when I first came to the UK it was just no one knew about it no one knew about cosplay conventions so it's just been absolutely lovely to see it grow so are you not from the UK then? No, I'm actually from Malaysia myself. <laughs> so I came I came here when I was about six or so, but I've lived here most of my life. Um, but again, I grew up with anime and like cartoons and stuff. So the first ones that really came to the UK was like Pokemon. And everyone yeah. suddenly knew about Pokemon and Digimon. And I was like, oh my god, there, there's stuff that I like here. <laughs> anime is coming. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like watching everyone catch on to it has been absolutely like amazing. That's yeah. what I really love. Oh, that is fair. So, um, what got you started with all of this then? Oh, right. Okay, so I used to be a cosplayer myself. Um, I used to do all sorts of costumes and basically um, I'm not very good at communicating with people. <laughs> so my bridge to talking to other people was actually carrying a camera with me. And I found that if I carried a camera, people would come up to me instead of me having to approach them. So that's kind of what got me into it. It's just a passion project for myself from being a cosplayer and then being able to then like pass it on to future cosplayers. Basically. Comic book conventions isn't just for buying things. There are also stalls for colleges or universities looking for applicants showing what their course can do, like a film course or a prop making course. Okay, so I'm Samantha and I'm from City Glasgow College and we're not selling anything. We are here to promote our model making and prop making course for special effects within the creative industries. Okay, so uh, what kind of things do you make? I guess this big. <laughs> so, big scalpels to represent the course. Um, so everything that you see on this table is um, work from our students. So you've got like sort of the um, scaled figures of the Lego figures. We've got puppets, which was a graded unit. We've got some Jack in the Boxes, which is from our NQ course. Um, we've also got the Miller Street doorway which is a HN course um, project. We've also got a couple of um, 3D printed projects here as well, so we've got quite the range. Oh, okay. So, um, uh, so what would you class yourself as an artist, a creator? Uh, wow! Well, I've got my own, like, I do my own, like, mm. um, sculptures. Um, but I'd say we're mainly art. Mm. Mm, so you say in the art community? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely in the art community, creative industries, family. Mm. Um, so would you say your course kind of creates that community in a, in a sense? Oh, like, definitely. We've got so many different walks of life within our course. Um, all from different ages, different backgrounds. Um, you've got people that specialise in like cosplay, for example. Or you've got people that specialise in um, actual like architectural model making. So it's just depending like what background you come from, but everyone has that core like the art mm. art background, so like creative. So why did you come here to try and get people to join then? Well, <laughs> everything that we do here is what you've seen around about the cosplay, especially with some of the costumes, like we've got the props, um, costumes for example, lots of foam, we've got EVA foam in some of our projects as well, mm. and everyone that you see here is like sort of like the sort of students that we see and we thought this was ideal it's like it's everything that you want but and of course we've taken your hobby and we've made it educational many people come to comic-con to have a good time interacting with their communities and conventions also allow people to view other communities and decide if they want to also be a part of those communities and so that's why i believe that comic-con brings communities together So do you have a brand that you would like to promote? 
Oh, well, <laughs> I might as well promote myself. Um, I'm a Kusika photographer. I've been doing photography for about mm, 15 years now, I must say. Um, and if you ever want to drop me a follow, I'd love to hear from people. Uh, I like people from all across the the world. I have a big map that I keep pins of every person I met, and if they're from further afield, the more interesting. So, yeah, please hit me up on that site. I would really, really love it. Is there any links that you'd want us to put into the uh, documentary? Mm. <laughs> like Twitter, oh, Instagram, or a We are on Instagram, so it's Model Making C O G C. Okay. And um, that's our mod our. Facebook, uh, Instagram page, sorry. Um, I believe that's that, really. Okay, well, uh, thank you for talking to us then. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> it's promoting for us as well. Just make me look good, okay? I'll do my best.